So if you're not a baseball fan, you should hit subscribe and thumbs up on our channel. If you are a baseball fan, you should hit subscribe and thumbs up on our channel. Um, See how that works. Either way. It's interesting to watch this whole cheating thing in, in Major League Baseball continue to go. Garrett Cole is amongst the pitchers being accused, and there are hundreds of them, of using a product called Spider Tag and putting essentially crap on the baseball to make it move more. Many have said Garrett Cole's name. Okay, well, you would think that he would take the tact of the Houston Astros and say, well, I can't really answer that question because no matter what I say, it's wrong and people are going to use my answer against me. So I plead the fifth. No, that's not what Garrett Cole said. Um, I don't... Notice how long the silence uh, is. Um, uh, Hello. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if uh, uh, Garrett, please. Who? I don't know quite. I don't quite know how to answer that. To be honest, um, it took you all that time to say no comment. I mean, bro, what are you saying? There are customs and practices that have been passed down from older players to younger players, from the last generation of players to this generation of players, and. Um, you know, I, I think, uh, I think there are some things that are certainly out of bounds in that regard, and and uh, I've stood pretty, stood pretty firm in, in terms of that, uh, in terms what? of the communication what? between our peers and whatnot. Um, so wait, wait, know, wait, 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 wait. Garrett Cole just admitted that he cheats. Hold on, but let's back up. The question, the question, very simply was, do do you use spider tech? Um, I don't. <laughs> uh, Garrett, it is a yes or no question. Do you use spider tech? Um, I don't. Bro, here's how you answer this question. Hey, Garrett, do you do you use spider tech? Um, well, listen, man, uh, I understand that you're a professional and you have to ask me that question. I totally get it. But listen, no matter what I say or no matter how I answer that question, what's the win for me? What's um, the upside? There's no upside for me. So. With all due respect to you, and I respect your profession, you're, you know, I, I, I know you're a journalist, and you have to ask me those questions, but I'm not going to answer that question because um, there's, there's no upside for me. Or you could do what Garrett Cole yesterday did and go, um, uh, fucking, uh, um, see, I don't, uh, what, um, okay, let me play this one more time. Uh, and I want you guys this time, just listen to how long the silence is here. I mean, this is a long time not to say anything when you're answering a question. Hey, Garrett, do you use Spider Tech? Um, I don't. Hello. Hello. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if. Uh, I don't know quite. I don't quite know how to answer that. Yeah, we get uh, it, Garrett. It's a yes or no question, and, and you rolled out with you the. Need to, uh, um, you need to play the kid who's like, um. Uh, I mean, you, and it's like, hey, it's like, uh, hey, hey, hey. I'm just curious, Garrett. Did did you use spider tack? A motherfucking, uh, uh, down, ham, uh, a fucking. Yeah, uh, uh, um, uh, see, Roger Clemens is a um, friend of mine. Um, um, um uh, <laughs> what, what were you thinking? Okay, here's my um, other question. I talk for a living, right? So my job is to talk and answer questions and interview people. Um, did you not anticipate that this question was going to... You're in New York, man. Is that a real question? It's the hardest media market in the world. Like, that's Kevin Durant the other night when he was asked if he's stupid. Or what was he asked? He was asked... He was asked if he was, he was asked if uh, something about his injury and did he think he was going to be here. And... Is that a real question? What right. do you want me to say to that? Yeah, and where's Bryce Harper when you need him? That's a clown question, bro. Um... Like, that's all you have to say. That's a clown question, bro. Um, you're a New York Yankee. You're being accused of cheating, and your best answer is... Um, um, that's your. That's all you um, got? Did you not prepare this? Um, what are you doing? Um, all right, let's piss, oh. ev let's piss everybody off before I fly away to Vegas. Um... <laughs> How is that your like you're a New York Yankee? You already oh, were part of the dude. you are already part of one of the only teams in baseball history to be caught cheating the Houston Astros. I want more. So you went to the Yankees and continued allegedly.
um, to put schmutz all over the ball. <laughs> then when you were asked if you, you know, if you were fornicating with the baseball before um, the game, um, and that's your answer. Um, I, it's amazing. You're oh, a New York Yankee dude. dude. All right. Let's talk NFL real quick before we get out of here. Okay. Sam Darnold yesterday was asked, Hey, uh, Sam, you know, there's this little thing going on called the coronavirus. Uh, hey, have you gotten vaccinated yet? I haven't been vaccinated yet. Um, you know, <laughs> still got to think is. about, you know. He said I'm too. All those certain things that go into it. Um, yeah. Again, it's it's everyone's um, choice um, um, whether they want to get vaccinated yeah. or not. Um, um, so that's really um, all I got on it. I don't want to go um, too into detail. But, um, yeah, I haven't um, been vaccinated yet. Um. That's amazing. <laughs> First of all, don't you love the it, it, the, the anti vaxxers are all like it's my body, my choice. Um. <laughs> okay, but you know the, this lady over here wants you know to make choices for her own health and her. I body. haven't been vaccinated yet. No, we can't allow women to make choices for their body. But if Sam Darnold doesn't want to get a vaccine, I mean, it's his um, it's my body. Um, you know, still got to think about. What, okay, wait. I love this one. Like, in sales, I hear this all the time. I got to think about it. Still got to think about, you know, um, all those certain things that go into it. Um, what certain things again, it's, it's everyone's choice <laughs> um, whether they want to get vaccinated or not. Um, so so here's, here's my question. Um, so uh, if <laughs> Sam Darnold turns up with coronavirus and cannot play for the not New York Jets... <laughs> For the Carolina Panthers, if Sam um, if Sam gets COVID, should the Panthers have to pay him because uh, he's refusing uh, to get vaccinated? And there are a bunch of players ac- across professionals. LeBron mm, James, yes, and Cantavius Caldwell Pope are refusing to get vaccinated. So if they get COVID and they can't play, should their teams have to pay them? No. And my answer is no. No, nope. no, they shouldn't. Hey. Listen, if you don't want to get vaccinated, that's your choice. But if you get COVID and you're not available to me for the services that you're supposed to render, I'm not paying you for that. Yeah. And I I absolutely think that this is a significant issue going forward because COVID's not going anywhere. Like it's going to be, coronavirus is going to be with us. The coronavirus. For probably at least several more years. And while we are close in this country to herd immunity, California is on the border of herd immunity. Um, we are very close to it. COVID is, if you look at what's going on around the world, Brazil, Europe, China, um, where they're lo- their countries like China is essentially back on lockdown, large parts of it because they've had outbreaks. Brazil has no vaccines. The fact that this administration, the Biden administration, just sent half a billion vaccines around the world to help people vaccinate, like you know that coronavirus is a real problem people will die you know it's a real problem you know you can't have it and play Mm -hmm. so if you get it and we've get we've offered you a vaccine for free and you turned it down i'm not paying you if you don't get it still gotta think about you know all those certain things that (laughs) yeah uh, exactly right giggity how about oh my god somebody please help me with this next one Giggity says he clearly doesn't want to become magnetized by the vaccine. Um, that's a um, that's a reference to, <laughs> I believe, a congresswoman who said yesterday that vaccines magnetize your body. Um, <laughs> Are you serious, dude? Bro, it, what? Like, and this is what this is what I don't understand. Driftwood says it's a weak virus. Stop being sissies. Well, I mean, it's killed millions of people, but... Hey, look at me. I mean, other than that, I mean, what do you got to worry about? 